Hey, Carlster fans. I am the Carlster, and welcome to Candy Corner with the Carlster. Um, today we are going to review the Mint Oreo Chocolate Candy Bar. Let's uh, see if I can get this open here with one hand, which may be impossible. Um, hang on. Smells quite oh how nice. Well <laughs> so I opened the king size package and it's double wrapped. Oh how nice. There's two of them in there. What the mm, how nice. Up oh, here we go again. This isn't working out so well. I'll get it. Don't worry. Almost there. Hmm. Well, it's being a pain in my rear. So, I will get this. Hang on one second. I have to put the camera down. Oh, good. You can still see me. So, what's everybody been up to today? Ah, there we go. Oh, okay. So, here's the inside. Yeah. All right. So let's give this a try. Hmm. Very good. Um, it's a very light, um, milk, I mean, chocolate texture, but, um, it's very minty. Very good. Very good. Um, it's made by Milka. And I don't remember how much I paid for it. Um, let's see, what's in this? Uh... Let's see, ingredients. Uh, or no, it says made with alpine milk. Right. Uh, I seem to believe that. Uh, not really. Um, and the reason why is because that's kind of like what they say with the whole water situation. Ha 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 ha. Um, and you know, like with that um bottled water, they sit there and they say, "Oh, we get this from natural springs." Yeah, right. You know where they're getting those from? They're getting that water from the ground, from pipes in the ground that are hooked up to city water. They're not getting that from springs. Come on now. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, th that was pretty good. Um, I would rate that candy bar as at a, basically a 10. I really liked that. Very good. Um, so this is going to be, occasionally I will do food reviews on here. And so whenever it's a candy review, I will call it, um, the candy corner with the Carlster. Um, you have to walk with me here. There we go. 
Um, so this segment would be called the uh, Candy Corner with the Carlster, or Candy Corner with the Carlster, there we go. Or how about I call it Carlster's Candy Corner? That would that that would sound a lot better. I like that idea. Um, Carlster's Candy Corner. And then uh, we'll have to figure out what to call the other food review segments. But um, if it's candy, it's going to be Carlster's Candy Corner. I, I like that idea. Um, um, and unfortunately, I can't do candy all the time because, uh, yeah, um, there's a lot of health risks um, um, associated with sugar. So, yeah, there's not going to be sugar all the time. So, uh, and not to mention the fact I, I see the word glucose and fructose, uh, high fructose corn syrup in this. So, yeah. <laughs> um, also, keep in mind, guys, um, one thing that I do want to tell you guys is high fructose corn syrup is like the worst, one of the worst things you could ever put in your body. So try to limit yourself to, um, how much, uh, high fructose corn syrup you consume. Always read the labels. Um, like for instance, there is, they add sugar to this. So total sugars is 20 grams and then added sugars is 16 grams. So, you know, you know, try to watch your sugar and it does. And you know what? It doesn't matter whether you're diabetic or not. Always watch your sugar, please. Uh, you know, and don't, don't eat too much candy or cake or any kind of sweets. Um, let's see, my all-time favorite candy, um, or I should say one of my all-time favorite candies is, um, Andy's Mints. Oh, I love those things. Uh, and then they came out with that new, um, let's see, that new candy bar, um, that's all Andy's Mints, and those are pretty good. Um, the other thing I like to do too is every once in a while, I, I like to go to those, um, gourmet candy shops and, um, see what they have to offer. Um, because a lot of times they'll have things there that you cannot find in the store. Um, Yes, this was kind of like a chocolate-covered Oreo, but the problem is they were Oreo pieces. They were not a full Oreo. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, and I would love to do uh, some candy reviews of um, some candy from all around the world. That would be fun. Um I think I would like to do that. Um, so if anybody wants to send me any sort of thing to do a food review on or anything to do a re review on, um, just as long as it does not have coconut in it. I don't like coconut and it doesn't like me. So <laughs> um, me and coconut are pretty much even. Um so, um, yeah, uh, as long as there's no coconut, it's good. Um, because if I have anything with coconut, I end up in the hospital. So we don't want me in the hospital. Uh, so, um, yeah. Uh, um, I don't do well with alcohol, so, um, also, please do not send me the candy with alcohol in it, um, because I have a history of seizures or AKA convulsions. Um, so, um, and plus the medication that I'm on, I can't take, I can't drink alcohol. So as long as it doesn't have coconut or alcohol in it, I'm good. Well, light went out again. 
So, um, yeah. Um, I love anything mint. I love anything chocolate. Uh, I'm not a big fan of black licorice, but I will try something black licorice. You may not like the look on my face when I eat something black licorice. Um, but I will try black, something that's black licorice. Um, I will try, um, or I won't try, yeah, I will not try any watermelon flavored candy because in my opinion, watermelon flavored candy does not taste like the real watermelon. So, <laughs> so, I, I mean, I'm willing to tr eat watermelon flavored candy but it's not my thing. Um, I've kind of wanted to try the spicy chocolate. Um, and, and the problem with that is that it's kind of expensive. So when you're on a budget like I am, uh, spicy chocolate is kind of expensive, so it's something I would like to try, but, you know, but feel free to send anything, uh, you want, like, food-wise or whatever that you want me to review here on here besides the, um, vlogs, and, um, you know, um, this is kind of like, my version of like taking a break from a vlog um so uh you know um feel free to really send me anything you want me to review um you know it, it, it i'll pretty much eat anything or i'll review anything um you know, except I will not really review any die cast vehicles on here because that um, that is for my Coaster Carl channel is the cars. But um, if you do want to send me cars to review on my other channel, um, my address is the same down below. I always put my address down below so people can send me things. Um, um, and please be respectful of what you send. Um, I won't, uh, if you send something that I think is, like, way out of this world, I will not review it, um, like, um, pepper spray, I will not review pepper spray or anything that harms somebody. Now, however, um, I do like, um, reviewing pocket knives, um, you know, like, as in, like, how well it cuts into a box. You know, that, that, that I will do. Um, that's fine. So, um, but if it's anything that, that's going to harm me, um, in a, in a bad way, then please don't send it. Um, I have heard of people sending some bad things to people in the mail and please don't do that um i want to be able to have people that i can trust to have mail time um with and that's going to be another segment i'm creating is um mail time with the carlster so <laughs> you know um feel free to send me anything i don't care i'll review it send me anything <laughs> Um, on top of the vlogs, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll review anything somebody sends me. So, you know, um, I, I'm more than open to re to receiving anything. Um, if the, uh, packaging on food is damaged in any way, I will not, uh, I will not review it. Um... So, um, and that, that, that goes for my safety. Um, but yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this first, um, candy corner with the uh, Carlster's candy corner. There we go. That's going to give me a while to, give me a while to get used to that. Um, 
Carlster's Candy Corner. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this. And um, I will see you guys in the next video, which I'm hoping is going to be tomorrow. Lately, I've been very busy um, thinking of uh, certain things for the channel. So that, that keeps me busy. So, you know, that's why I haven't been on here in a couple days. is because I'm trying to think of new things. So, um, I hope you guys have a good first day of the week tomorrow, of the work week. Um, it's not the first day of the work week for me because I have Mondays off, so I don't have to work tomorrow. So, um, I hope you guys, uh, have a nice week and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. This is the Carlster signing off and keep it cool.